Good morning, everyone. It's a Monday. It's the 5th of July, and we are here to wake you up right here on The Breakfast Show, the show worth waking up for myself, Nazruddin Rahman. And I'm Daphne Iking. Now, for those... Um, actually, there was no football yesterday, right? Thank God for that. That's <laughs> indeed that one third of the world's royalty resides within Malaysia. The royal state of Nine arguably has one of the most complex set of traditions among all Southeast Asia's monarchies and sultanates. All right, so of course we'll focus is on Negeri Milan, and this main Discovery Channel takes viewers behind the scenes of the grand installation for the 11th Yang Di Tuan Besar, Tuanku Muhris Ibni Almarhum Tuanku Munawe, in a documentary special that's entitled Revealed Malaysia's Royal Rights. That's right, and we have with us three special guests to talk more about this exclusive collaboration. We have uh, Yang Mulia Tunku Alang Tunku Datuk Sri Skandar Bin Tunku Abdullah. I hope I got that right. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> <laughs> who is the group uh, managing director of Malewa Group? Mm -hmm. Of course, following up is uh, Mr. Kevin Dickey, who is the senior vice president and uh, general manager for Southeast Asia Discovery Network. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sir. And we have Enchi Aziza Nordin, Deputy Director General Planning for Tourism Malaysia. Selamat pagi semua. Selamat pagi. Terima kasih kerana sudi datang ke studio. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, well first of all, uh, let, let's uh, mm. first uh, address uh, Enchi Aziza Nordin, who has been with uh, Tourism Malaysia for 31 years. First of all, I salute you for, you for your dedication to this project. <laughs> uh, uh, let's, let's first of all talk about the collaboration uh, uh, of Tourism Malaysia with uh, Discovery Networks. How did this idea first come about? Well, uh, for Tourism Malaysia, we have been doing advertising with um, Discovery Channel mm -hmm. since the year 2007. Mm -hmm. And since then, we had a lot of opportunities with them mm -hmm. to do some documentary. Mm -hmm. Before this, we did passage to Malaysia, mm -hmm. airing right. um, on the Langkawi, Sabah, Sarawak, and so forth. Mm -hmm. So when this chance came along, so we took it because the Discovery Channel was very, you know, um, enthusiastic in um, adding this kind of uh, do 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 documentary. documentary yeah. Yeah. Absolutely right. And of course, uh, uh, Mr. Dickey, you seized on this opportunity, especially looking at the fact that uh, this rite of passage mm -hmm. uh, to elect the new Yang Dipton Besar, mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, the latest after if I'm not mistaken, years. after 40 40 years. Years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 41, 41 years. years. After 41 years. Yes. And is this just pure coincidence? Well, it was, <laughs> you know, the, the opportunity arose th thanks to Tourism Malaysia. Uh, and to Tunku Iskander who provided the access. Mm -hmm. um, for us, we would have been aware of it, but not necessarily had the level of access that we were given. Uh -huh. um, and immediately we identified the opportunity for a tremendous story. There are so many levels to it. The Negeri Sembalan story, in terms of the rights uh, and the history, is, is unique. It's a democratic, a democratic monarchy, one of few. Mm -hmm. um, but beyond that, it was a great opportunity to use that as a backdrop Mm -hmm. to explain the role of the monarchy in, in Malaysia mm -hmm. and how tradition sits with m modernity. Mm -hmm. And that's what the film does. It's, it's about Negeri Sembilan, but it's more than that. It's about the story of, of, of the monarchy and its role in modern Malaysia. Excellent, excellent. Of course, uh, we talk about constitutional monarchy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, yes. So, uh, we, we, we understand that... Uh, it's exceptionally significant. Yes. Uh, perhaps you'd like to talk us through this, uh, Well, uh, actually, yeah, it's significant because um, I think for tourism, it brings uh, to the forefront uh, how much Malaysia is truly Asia, That's because right. uh, we are actually we in the Greece Milan come from uh, originally mm -hmm. uh, Sumatra, Sumatra, so right. from Minangkabau, mm -hmm. and um, the first of the rulers of Negeri Milan were brought across from Sumatra back to what is now Negeri Milan by the nine chieftains mm -hmm. then in about 1773. Mm -hmm. So his name was Raja Malewa. And from then on, um, that has continued to be uh, the way they uh, appoint the young Diputuan Besar, which is that the nine chieftains, now there are four, mm -hmm. uh, would, um, would, would elect, would select mm -hmm. who they, in their wisdom, would be the rightful uh, 
person to occupy the throne. I see, I see. Now, as, as we understand it, uh, there are four territorial chiefs now. There is uh, the Undang of Sungai Ujong. Uh, there is the Undang of Jelebu, the Undang of Johor, and the Undang of Rumba. Oh, yes. And uh, right now, they have to elect a descendant, uh, a direct descendant uh, from Raja Malewa. Uh, can you talk us through that? Well, uh, it, yes, it would be a descendant of Raja Malewa. Of course, oh. in history, this has gone uh, from... The family tree has gone from uh, so yes, much larger. it has yeah. become very large. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, essentially, it is the direct descendant of uh, Raja Malewa in the end. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and of course... Uh, including, of course, the latest, the, the young Diplom who was recently uh, installed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.